Welcome back for another round of hot seats. We're doing hot seats um, the next day or so. We do them regularly inside of our course. Our course is Moolah's Page Strategies and it opens on Monday. And to give you guys like a little sneak peek of some of the stuff we do inside the course, I'm doing some hot seats tonight, tomorrow, on and off between between things. I'm gonna do like one, then do another. Anyways, well, or who knows how I'll do them, okay? But I'm on right now doing hot seats and we're um, looking at Gaylene's site. Gaylene said, oh fun, my site is Compass Rose Nutrition and Wellness. I'm a weight loss um, site without the fancy diets. I love that. Love that you're trying to be realistic for your audience so that they don't have to do a lot of hoops and, and jump through a lot of um, hoopla in order to, to get health. Okay, now looking at your site, my first tip is that people are only coming through mobile. So when you look at your nifty arrow, you can see here on mobile, it's not exactly lined up. So I would consider not what it looks like on desktop, but what it looks like on mobile, because I know you're trying to get people to click through to join your learn more. Okay. Um, so one, I would make that if possible, if you have a group, I would drive that into your group. Um, other than that, I would wait to make a funnel from your cover until you have other things running um, more smoothly. Okay. So, um, compass rose, I'm wondering compass rose nutrition and wellness, Compass Rose is hard to understand what it is, but the nutrition and wellness is dead on. So, um, so the name's so-so, but the name's probably solid. Next up would be your profile picture. I don't know if it says nutrition and wellness. Is there something you could do to your picture, to cover picture and your profile to make it more clear it's about health? Okay, going down through the content now, your content looks great. Love, love that content, love this. Um, looking at this, I think you would do well to have a diva light. Now I don't have a diva light on right now, but usually I have a big circle lamp in front of me. What that does is it kind of gets, it kind of brightens the image up and it will help your image convey more of that bright, well, help health and happiness look, which is what you have here. And I would love to see your lives have that and it, your lives look awesome, but I think you'd also do slightly better with just having a diva light. And I got a kiddo. Give me 30 seconds and I'll be with you, okay? Okay, um, I've got six kids and I work with my kids at home. So it's all part of the fun. Um, and the th cool thing is, I'm not the only person who gets to do that. We have so many businesses who are getting to create businesses in their own terms, working at home, even if their kids are flossing right behind them, ignore them. Okay, going through here some more. Um, okay, next step for you would be to se separate your content a little bit. I like to have one line and then a space. If you have a huge paragraph, it's hard for your audience to read it all, especially on mobile. And I'm seeing here a lot of links. You got a link here and a link here. Um, two links in a row. I like to split up my content, not have link, link, link. Have link, photo, video, video, link, photo, video, video. Um, that that's a tends to be the pattern that I tend to use. My next tip for you is I saw something in here where you did weight loss. And I would avoid, strongly suggest that you avoid any words, terms of weight loss, anything that puts someone in the negative. It's actually in Facebook's terms of service with advertising that you're not allowed to run advertisements um, on terms that are, are negative about someone's health. And things like migraines, just be careful with those FDA terms. Um, they will also help make it more difficult for you to promote your content. Okay, that's three minutes of a hot seat for you. Um, I'm excited to see where your page will be. Talk to you later.